Hello and welcome back to First to Worst. I'm Spanners. I'll be your host for this run. And our next Goulash run is Fable versus Penguin. Papa Penguin. Welcome to both of you. How you doing? Oh, pretty doing good. Quite all right. Looking forward to this run. You all ready for your runs? Mm -hmm. All fat set, feeling confident? Think so. Uh, everything except for the confidence. <laughs> Uh, it's all about that confidence, man. For real. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. without further ado, we already have both of you waiting in the starting room. So you mm -hmm. can go ahead and start opening up your crates. Please announce your re-rolls and uh, let me know when you're using one. I got the USP match. I'm going to re-roll. All right. First re-roll from Fable. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to re-roll. Probably going to regret it, though. First re-roll from both of you. Not really a uh, Magnum fan. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to re-roll on this one. I got second the BFR. I'm gonna re-roll that as well. I got a uh, also a second re-roll. Whatever this Russian sniper rifle is, I forget the name of it. Okay, please. All right, that was your third please. final re-roll. Fuck. Yeah. Well, at least it's a semi automatic handgun. Rage, you gotta take that. Yep, this is F12. Never fucking heard of it, but okay. Looks like 9 by 18 Whatever. Is that what it is? Yeah. I will keep my sure. weapon. Okay, you've got yours going. Oh, that's a lovely choice. Um. Okay, so do. you have your weapons selected. Papa Penguin, are you ready? Indeed I am. Fable, are you ready? I am ready. All right. So with that, you may commence your runs. Good luck, and we will see you on the other side. Okay. Good luck. And with that, our runners are off. Fable, given a few seconds to let his stream catch up. Papa already out and heading towards the first hold which is in T hallway, one that we've normally seen hanging out in later holds. Usually we see T hallway in fifth hold, but it's a first one now. Plenty of gear disparity going on to start with. Papa Penguin rolling with the F12. Got himself an unfortunate Model 70 roll, the only bolt action rifle that does not spawn in with a sight. Fable, having a much better early roll, I would say, with the Marshall Alter Short. Papa Penguin heading straight into, oh boy, heading straight into the first hold. Looks like he has five statics to deal with in what could be a pretty good lineup, even with the F-12 he has. As long as you make your shots count, you can do pretty well with this, even with not a great roll to begin with. And the statics are up. First couple, three, four, five. That was a lovely clear and a good start from Papa Penguin. That F-12 doing work. Let's see if Fable can replicate that. He, in addition to the ultra short that he rolled he also has the usp match looks like he also has five statics he's gonna have to deal with he already has number four buck for the shotgun which means if he's lucky he could get a two for one but we'll settle for one for one with excellent accuracy. Also, a quick clear. No distinct leader here so far coming out of hold one. Both our runners going neck and neck in score for the most part. Fable clearing out his next supply point. Nothing particularly interesting there. Meanwhile, Papa Penguin was able to roll another bolt action rifle, getting the tactical 8400 with none other than the YOLO sight. 
which is an unfortunate rule, I would say. Papa Penguin taking some careful shots, clearing out the next hold, which is in Yellow Pit Room. Fable also was able to get some plus P API for his pistol. Should serve him well. I think he also was able to roll some flechettes, which uh, getting uh, the flechettes this early will certainly help out. Not only with the hardens, but also with the shield sosigs we'll see in hold three. Papa Penguin not getting anything particularly interesting in his next supply point. He might roll that machine pistol, or he tr might try and roll it away. Fable passing up on the two-point auto-loading shotgun. What an insane move, I would say. You should always roll that two-point auto-loader. It's just, it's there's so many good options you can get there. But he's not taking it. He's rolling right along into hold two. We will see how that plays out. Looks like we've got maybe only three. Nope, there's four hardens he'll have to deal with. Could be more. Could also be less, but we should be stacking up for a pretty quick clear. We do have the ultra short with number four, and that is the one that simply deletes hardens if you get your shots right. Lined up, getting ready to go. Meanwhile, Papa Penguin is heading towards his second hold as well. And Hardens are up for Fable. Oh, there was one more. We missed one. Nope. We were clear. I miscounted. That was a good clear for the Hardens from Fable. Fairly smooth. Didn't miss any shots at all. Papa Penguin, meanwhile, is keeping the room clear, even with his F-12. It was not a great roll. Unfortunately, he was stuck with it since he used all his rerolls. Doing what he can with what he's got. And the Hardens are up for Penguin. Definitely taking more time than Fable did. But considering he's rocking the F-12 with that, not a bad clear at all. He will have to make up some time, however. And the Swarms are up for Fable taken a couple shots to clear out the room, and he's out of ammo in a shotgun. Switching to the USP. And Fable is complete with hold two. Not the fastest swarm clear that we've seen this phase, but it was solid, and he kept control of the room. That is an opportunity for Penguin to pick up some score, especially with the F-12, a nice accurate low recoil pistol against swarms is pretty nice so we're getting ready to see those come in a nice lineup on a couple there and the swarms are in the first one's down quick the second one is also down reloading on our way to the third and that was a nice Swarm clear for Penguin, and both our runners are through the second hold. Data extracted. Four override tokens found. Advance to next. Third hold in this seed, of course, is the light blue room, which I do like, especially for a third hold. You know, first hold, second hold, third hold. I like light blue. Nice close quarters. The only downside for that is, of course, the Sosix do get lost from time to time. But if you can get through that, then you'll usually have a pretty good time. Fable rolling the six-point battle rifle, getting the nice, safe, reliable M1A. And saying farewell to our USP. Penguin rolling a revolver, because he can. Penguin, unfortunately, kind of getting the short end of the stick on a lot of these rolls. He doesn't have a good loadout heading into hold three. Hopefully, he'll be able to uh, pick up something nice for himself, maybe after hold three, but unless there's something in this next supply point for him, I don't know. But Fable is heading on into hold three. He is well healed with that M1A. 
taking careful aim on that breacher. Took one hit there. We can take those. Ooh, Penguin with a six-point roll, getting the AK-12. Or no, that's not the 12. That's the modern. Modern AKM. And the Hardens are in for Fable. Taking careful aim for each of them. One for one. Ooh, missed the last shot. Finish it off with the M1A. Except for that last one. That was a lovely Harden clear. Fable keeping good control of the room. Mainly rocking with the Ultra Short. At some point, we're definitely going to want to move that site over to the M1A, just so we have an easier time with it. Showing some of the limitations of our Buckshot variants. The number two and the number four do have a bit of a trouble penetrating those face masks, but the swarms are up. We've cleared out a couple already with a short and cleared out the last one with the M1A. A solid swarm clear. Not too fast, not too slow. Just right. Now, just gotta hold up. We did switch the site over to the M1A. That'll help out with the recursives, definitely. Make sure you pick your shots, make them count. Showing that power of that battle rifle round. I did take a one ricochet there. That was one lucky devil of a Sosig. Meanwhile, Penguin is on the way to his own old three. And he's in. Fable, meanwhile, continuing to hang out in this room, waiting for their cursives to come in. They should be coming in any any second now. And there they are. They're up. First one is down. Sniped one that was turned away. Cleared the second one fast, and Fable is through. Hold three. Papa rolling with the yellow sight on the AK. Harden's come in in the middle of a reload, but utterly annihilating them. Annihilating them. Looks like he rolled himself some AP rounds for his AK, which was... Definitely helpful for those Ardens. That was a lovely, lovely clear. A close set of clouds for these swarms. With how he uh, did on those Ardens with the AK, he should be able to clear these all, all out pretty quick. Since he's already rolled the um, six-point battle rifle once, I'm not sure what he was aiming for 
out of that because the only other battle rifle he could roll from that six point pool would be a foul also with 10 round mags And that second M1A did not last very long at all. But uh, that was six points that he's not going to be able to get back. So Fable might be on the back foot now, uh, as far as gear is concerned. Surprising both our contestants, surprising large patrols on their way between the supply rooms. Does he have enough points? He does have enough points, so he's taken that M1A mag from 10 rounds all the way up to 30. Penguin spending himself 6 points on the carbine, rolling the scar. I don't know why these guys are continuing to roll the 6-point pools. That's definitely interesting strategy. Um... At this point, for each of them, I might prioritize either mag upgrades or power-ups or even attachments over spending another six points on a, a rifle that you might already have. We do see the scar you know, often enough. I wouldn't say it's uncommon, but uh, I guess not the most common rifle we've seen out of that six-point pool. It doesn't matter, though, because Fable is in hold four. Rolling right along. Just popping heads. And Penguin is also in hold four. Both are contestants rocking and rolling. The recursives are up for Fable. A nice ricochet on his second one. Took a couple of hits there, but... Uh, Nothing too serious. Meanwhile, the recursives are about to pop in for Penguin. I said they're about to pop in for Penguin. There they are. Taking careful aim on the first one. Also careful aim on the second. And that one's gone. And finish off the third. Fable definitely had a uh, much quicker clear for that second set of recursives we had. Fable, though, also losing a little more health. He's getting pretty close to uh, the danger zone here, where if he's surprised, Sosig could uh, take him down in a few hits. And the stealths are up for Fable. And they're gone. Down to about half health. Now, it's a fairly smooth stealth clear, though. He might be taking the lead a little bit in the first part of this hold. Let's see how Fable, ha not Fable, Penguin handles his stealths. Taking a fairly mobile strategy. He's looking, he's getting ready for those stealths, and they're up. Charging down the end of the hall. That was a lucky spawn in. They all came in at one end of the hall. It didn't have to spend much time at all hunting him down. These runners are really back and forth. I'm not sure who's in the lead right now. Both of them in the final phase of hold four. Facing down the first set of heavily armored breachers. I would say Penguin definitely has a better loadout to deal with those because he has armor piercing rounds for his AK. The Agiles are up for Fable. First one flew right in front of him. He did take a hit. He's down to a thousand. He's got to stop and deal with his Sosigs. And there's still one more to deal with. And he is through his Agiles and through hold four. That was a close one for Fable. Let's see how Penguin follows up. And the Agiles are up for Penguin. Stopping for a rear reload. And the first one's down. And the last two were back in this corner. 
And that was definitely a quicker agile clear. Penguin might be taking the lead here. Both our contestants finished with hold four. Visiting their supply points on the way to hold five. Fable was able to roll API for his M1A. That is a lovely roll. We'll definitely give him a firepower advantage against the Breachers in hold five. Penguin does have the option for an 8-point battle rifle. I wouldn't roll it at this point if I were in his shoes. And they're both moving on to their next supply point. They might be ending up in hold 5 at the same time. Penguin clearing out his second supply point. Looks like he has nothing particularly interesting. Fable almost all the way back up to full health. After taking a few meaty hits in hold four. At this point, probably a penguin might have a little bit of an edge score-wise, but truly I, it will come down to the agiles, I think, in the final old. And Fable is in it. Old five, taking a fairly central position to start with at the bottom of the stairs. Penguin did go back for that eight-point battle rifle. And I forget the name of that one, but I do like it. It is one of my favorite battle rifles to roll out of this pool. Spending a lot of points on guns, though. Both are runners. And Stealth's are about to pop in for Fable. So he's heading up the stairs, getting ready to take them down. And the Stealth's are up. Clearing them out one at a time. And that was a fairly smooth stealth clear from Fable. Off to a good start for hold five. Back down to the stairs and getting ready for speed meet. Now this is really where we have seen some runners lose control in purple room where speed meet just overwhelms them and they end up just falling apart. Fable is keeping pretty good control of the room, is letting a few of them inside, so those might be ones he uh, may have to deal with on the way through the Agiles. And the Agiles are up. He's taken down a couple, spending extra shots on them, but he does have ammo to spare, trying to take careful aim. Elevated sight. He's starting to take hits, though. There's one more. He is taking hits. He's, he's down to 1,000 health. I don't know if he still has his health. He just ate his health, so he's back up. He is, is losing a lot of time, though, on this last Agile, and he's through. I don't know. That might have given it to Penguin. That was a, uh, a fairly slow Agile. Clear. Just wasn't able to keep tight enough control of the room, and they just kind of filtered in. He is on the uh, the downhill slope, though, heading through to the regenerative encryptions. This is the phase where that API will come in very handy, defeating the armor, the face shields. Plenty. It 
it looks like Penguin has finished off his uh, preparations for the most part. Looks like he was able to upgrade his magazine to the 40 round RPK mag. But Fable is still keeping much better control of the room in this phase than the last one. And the regenerative is up. A nice little cluster with one leg going off up top. And he is through. That was a nice regenerative clear. And Fable is complete with his run with a 193 240. He was all down to those agiles, which was a fairly painful clear. And we will check back in with Fable as soon as Papa Penguin has completed his run. Just one second, as we make sure that we can see his stream nicely. Much better. Luckily, he's still fighting with patrols on the way to the final hold, making sure his gear all works. He's just having fun at this point, really. But uh, I think that's everything that he's got I don't he doesn't have any more any more uh, supply points I think he spent all of his tokens so it looks like penguin is on the way to hold 5 and we are in it interfacing with system node hold this position looks like he's also choosing to hold the bottom of the stairs here at this little landing we do see a lot of runners take here uh, between this or at the top of the stairs or up in Baldrick's corner. One of the things I like about the Purple Room is there are a variety of places you can stand and they all work. Stealth. And the stealths are up. First down, second down. Nice little cluster in the back corner there. And a nice smooth stealth clear from Penguin. Luckily, none of them came in right over his head or up in the light or in the corner. Always remember, if you are missing a stealth, it is over your head. So far, keeping good control of the room in speed meet phase. That is the important part of red room. Or not red room, purple room is if you lose control in speed meet, they filter in very quickly because they spawn right outside those doorways. One or two more kill waves before the Agiles pop in, trying to keep his AK topped off, and the Agiles are up, finishing off these last couple for switching over to the Agiles, clearing them out fairly smoothly. Had to spend just a couple of extra shots, but overall that was a solid Agile clear. And unless something very drastic happens for the Regenerative, I think Penguin has this. Still rocking the armor piercing rounds in his AK mags. He hasn't pulled out the scar. I don't know if he's recycled that uh, when he weren't. Look, look, looks like he still has it. We'll have to make sure to ask him about that when he's done. Looks like his regenerative encryption is at a cloud up at the top of the stairs there, which is not necessarily the best position it could be. There is potential for some. Some spider legs coming off that, but we'll have to see what kind of node pops in. He's approaching it. 
He is ready. Look at, he's ready. And that is a nice cluster to begin with. A couple of legs, but that was a very smooth regenerative clear from Penguin. And he is through with a 197-110. A very good score from Papa Penguin. And so both of our contestants have completed their runs. I'll make sure that I get their scores in. And with that, I will bring them back in here so that we can have a quick chat. And welcome back. Both of you have now completed your runs. How are the two of you doing? I'm pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty oh, good. Yeah, I'm pretty okay about that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too uh, disappointed, minus some, uh, one mistake. I think I did pretty well. Excellent to hear. We like that kind of confidence. Now, I have your scores recorded. I just uh, actually switched away from that, so let me switch back so I can read them off for you. So, Fable, uh, you completed your run first, so I will read out your score first with the standard spawn lock multiplier. You scored a 202,902. And Penguin, your score with the standard spawn lock multiplier comes out to 206,965 oh. and a half. Oh. Fable, I'm afraid you have right. been eliminated from the tournament. GG's, Penguin man. scored a, a 197. Yeah, there's no way I could have beat that. My top score is a 1959. So. Oh, also, hang on. Penguin, is that a PB? PB? Oh, personal best, yeah. Yeah, that was a personal best. I did indeed say that at the very end, yeah. I, I, very I, nice. I missed that right when we, we left. Man, what a run from both of you. Fable, it was those Agiles in the last yep. world, man. Hold five Agiles. Uh, there was one I completely missed. I was on track to get a mid 195, and then uh, just, I mean, I just lost 2,000 score there on, on you did bring one it back. encryption. You, you nearly died, and I'm very glad that you were able to survive that, uh, that wave, but uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a rough clear for sure. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't didn't see the one. It was above me. Didn't see it for a solid, you know, five seconds, and that's a long time in this game <laughs> yeah i had a pretty rough time at the beginning with the uh i think it was called the f12 not really <laughs> i was having a pretty rough time making some of the uh the hard, the uh armor hit points going into that doesn't sound like you had too hard of a time with it with such a great score man <laughs> i really picked it up there at the end <laughs> definitely had yeah. some great clears uh towards the end setting a pb during a tournament run is certainly nothing into you it's actually at. uh i think that's my second personal best during this tournament i'm pretty sure he set that uh 167 80 right over there my local score i think i also set that in my first round of uh this tournament well damn can't stop won't stop uh <laughs> you might be one to climb out of the goulash in any I rate i can hope uh, so we all hope so uh, at this point, we will open the floor to any questions chat might have, any comments for the runners. We do have one to start with, and that is a question for Papa Penguin. Which mm -hmm. is the best optic, and why is it the yellow site? I knew that was coming. Um, I'm trying to put it on this one. Oh, it's just the memes. There's there's nothing else about it, just the fucking memes. Uh, man. So... I can't believe right up until the very last fucking set of holds, I had the run of that YOLO site. The YOLO site don't... on the AK. Yeah, I had the YOLO site most of the time in the AK. Probably should have stuck with it just for the meme factor, but honestly, I didn't want to leave it down to... I didn't really like it, because I felt like maybe one good time it probably would have just fucked me and I just missed something, but um, I guess it didn't. guess it never did. Um, but if, I wasn't going to risk If you respect that. the YOLO site, it will respect you i do have another question for both of you 
um, you guys had some pretty interesting choices as far as equipment goes. Um, so I am curious as to why you each kept rolling battle rifles and ARs when you already had some pretty good equipment to start with. You spent a lot of points uh, on things that you ended up not using a whole lot. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll go first then. I guess okay. I guess for me, um, I don't. I'm not a big. I prefer battle rifles, but the one I got, um, I'm blanking on the name of it, but that's kind of my least favorite. And at that point, I knew I had everything because I had a sight, I had a shotgun, I had a battle rifle. There wasn't anything I needed. So with that in mind, I just kept rolling to see if I'd roll something I liked better. I mean, my favorite is the foul tactical. So if I could have rolled into that, that would have. At least, at least made it more comfortable for me. Maybe not better so scoring. You, you're but, trying. You're yeah. angling towards that foul. Yes. Mm. I, on the other hand, was angling towards uh, AR-15 or any kind of AR platform, but uh, didn't ever get one. Uh, closest thing I got, I suppose, was the Scar L, but I don't really like it because the fire rate's slower. I was going for uh, whenever I saw that shotgun, I was hoping I could uh, the automatic shotgun roll. I was hoping I could get it, but I didn't realize I didn't have a uh. I didn't have a way to roll away my uh, the guns I didn't want, so that's why I'm stuck with four guns at the end of the run instead of like just the one or the two. Uh, so after rolling uh, a mid-core battle rifle, um, this uh, what is it? P762, uh, and I realized I didn't have enough to, for the shotgun. I couldn't roll away with my weapons. I was like, oh fuck! So I just went ahead and uh, put the. This is a 40 round. It's it a 45 40 round. round. 40 round, okay, 40 round uh, RPK mag on the AK, and I was just like, fuck it, we'll go with that. It's already got armor piercing rounds, it'll be good enough for the armored Sosigs. Uh, I would have preferred some. with the results. Yeah, I would have preferred something with a higher fire rate, just because it's it's better for agiles, but um, or a shotgun, but I never got to, <laughs> the last shotgun I got to see was that automatic. Actually, that was the first. So, uh, nope, I didn't get a shotgun the entire time. Whatever. Shotgun my beloved. Is what it is. Well, with that, I do believe we shall call that a run. So, All right. Penguin, congratulations on your victory. Fable, commiserations on your defeat. I sincerely hope we'll continue <laughs> to see you around the first worst server. Yeah, worst, GGs, worst. Man. Congrats. Congrats, Penguin. Hey. GG's. Good run. And, GGs. uh, okay. King really wants to know your thoughts on the uh, P90 Fable. I actually really like the P90. And I was screwing around with it in the post game lobby but i i really enjoy the weapon i just find it fun it's just the thing yeah, that's... for aliens or replicators yeah i think i would have taken that over uh, as well as a shotgun that's a really high rate of fire and large mag capacity that's a... <laughs> if i had gotten a p90 i don't think i would have spun tried to get a shotgun but okay Anyways. and and with that then we really will call it a run so uh Penguin and Fable, thanks for the runs. Everyone watching, thanks for tuning in to First to Worst. We still have a couple of runs to get through today, uh, and they will be in a couple of hours. So stay tuned for when those pop out, and we will see you next time on First to Worst. Catch you later. All right.